Hey everyone, it's Jet, back today with another video, and today I'm just going to go over the Noble Garden Holiday event that runs until Monday, April 17th. So you'll have the rest of the week to do this if you're interested in doing this event. Now, this event's pretty cool, especially if you're a collector, because you can collect some cool vanity items such as transmog, toys, pets, and even a mount. They also made uh, collecting the brightly colored eggs, which give you the currency to purchase these items. A lot easier and quicker if you're an achievement hunter if you go into your achievement uh, book here and go to world events and noble garden you'll notice there's a handful of achievements that you can complete during this event now most of these achievements are pretty straightforward but if you have any questions about any of them just leave a comment below and I will help you with them also if you go into your adventure guide you can um, collect 450 traveler log points towards your monthly trading post price so go to holiday events in there and then just look for the noble garden activities and see what you have to do to get those points now if you go to any capital city you'll notice a npc will have a quest that they offer you now whenever you click it i'm in valdraken here and most of these npcs will have a exclamation point above their head so you know where to find them and it's called a holiday enthusiast and they'll offer you a quest called a spring awakening now the quest objective for this is to talk to a spring collector in goldshire uh karanos uh, dalinar and azor watch now i am an alliance player so these will be alliance cities for me now if you're horde they will offer you uh to go they will ask you to go to razor hill bloodhook village brill and falcon wing square now, Falcon Wing Square for the Horde is where a lot of Horde players think is the best place to do this event and for Alliance Azor Watch. Me personally, since I'm, I usually just go to Goldshire because I'm familiar with that area. Now, you don't have to pick up this quest to do the event. It's more of a reference on how to get there. But if you're going ahead there, you might as well pick it up and get close to three gold. Maybe I'll help with some repair bills or something. Like I said, since I'm an alliance, I'm going to head to Storm, outside of Stormwind to Goldshire because I'm familiar with that uh, area. And l let me say that again let, so, so it doesn't get twisted. I'm familiar with Goldshire during this holiday event, okay? No other reasons, all right? Let me put that out there. So we're going to accept this quest, we'll head down to Goldshire, and I'll show you how to collect eggs and purchase these vanity items. So we made it down to Goldshire, and we'll turn this quest in here and get our three gold. And you'll notice you'll have a daily here every day, and you'll have a another quest when you come down here from the Noble Garden Hello. vendor. Now this Noble Garden vendor, his quest will be, if you complete this, which is get... 10 noble garden chocolates uh, you will get an egg basket which is a cosmetic item that you can add to your collection and a toy which increases your speed by 60 percent now if you already have these items uh, like I do there I wouldn't pick up this quest because he's gonna take 10 chocolates from you now the chocolates are See the you currency you need to you. purchase anything that this noble garden vendor sells now every every item is cost different chocolate now you can get toys and cosmetic items and you can also get a mount here the swift spring spring strider uh, for 500 eggs uh, chocolates I mean now this spring strider can be sold on the auction house so if you want to farm these up and sell them out throughout the year you can make some gold because mounts always sell so it's something to hold on to and think about if you're uh, interested in doing that. Now, the only new item that was added in in this event this year is the Drake's Big Basket of Eggs, is which we're going to go for, which is 200 eggs, which is not going to take long. As you can see, I already have 199 uh, that I farmed up, which took me probably less than 30 minutes, to be completely honest. So this is where you find the vendor. It's called the it's Noble Garden Vendor here. And how you get the chocolates is around this whole area in Goldshire or any city that you're going to, you'll notice these eggs on the ground. They're called brightly colored eggs. Now what you want to do is you just want to pick them up here. 
And when you pick them up, all you want to do is right click them and it will give you the chocolate that you need, the currency you need to buy the items. Now, every egg you pick up, though sometimes they're on these poles here or around the building. As you can see, there's one right here. Um, any egg that you open up will have a chance to give to give you any of these vanity items that this vendor sells. So if you're really lucky and say you're farming up the mount and you open one of these eggs and get the mount, that saves you a lot of chocolate so you can use that currency towards something else that you want to buy. Now, this year during this event, what they have done is these eggs that spawn, uh, the brightly colored eggs, they're more like mining and herb nodes now where before if you picked one up, it disappeared. But now if someone picks it up, you have a chance to pick it up also. I do also want to state that especially for an achievement is sometimes when you pick up these eggs you have a chance to turn into a bunny which will increase your your chances of uh and your speed and, and and stuff like that so you can move around a lot quicker me being a druid i just usually fly around and pick up eggs like this which uh make it pretty easy also this toy that you get if you do this uh here this egg or basket will increase your speed by 60 percent so that's some of the changes they made here so we'll open these and we'll purchase our toy here the drake ba big basket of eggs and i'll show you exactly what what that does here uh, shortly uh when we get back into valdraken but that's basically the event and what you do so the best the best advice i can give you is you, if you're going to farm these eggs is you really want to come during off hours but now with the changes of the spawn rate and everything, um, it's pretty quick even to do it during during high tide, you know, like during during a lot of when a lot of people are down here because the spawn rates are pretty quick and the ability to pick them up after someone else did is is really high now. So what we'll do now is we'll go back to Valdraken and I'll show you what that new toy looks like. So we made it back to Verdraken, uh, Valdraken. So we'll use our our Drake big basket of eggs here. Let's see what it does exactly. I can't use that item. And as you notice there, he has the egg basket in his uh, mouth when he's flying. So you can only see it on takeoff. But yeah, that's what the new toy does. And that's exactly everything that I can think of of this holiday event. So hope this video helped and good luck collecting your chocolates and getting the items you want uh, during this event.